Okay. We'll begin with an opening statement from Coach Brom, and then an opening statement from Mike, and then questions, please. Coach, go ahead. Okay. Well, we're excited to get the uh, Citrus Bowl bid. Um, our team worked really hard this year and uh, found a way to get the championship game. And played hard, came up short, of course, uh, and didn't play as well in the second half as we would like, but uh, we're able to advance, uh, play another high, highly ranked, high caliber team in LSU. Uh, down in Florida to Citrus Bowl. And I know our guys will respond. And after a little bit of break in football and uh, concentrate on academics, uh, we'll get back to practice here soon. And uh, I think they'll prepare hard uh, to play a quality opponent. And I know our fans will be excited about going down to Florida uh, for a warm, work, uh, warm bowl game. Mike, go ahead. All right, thanks for everyone for being here. Coach Shondell, I can't wait for your questions. Good, good to see you back there. Um, you know, I just want to reiterate some of what Jeff said. Uh, you know, coming off the Big Ten championship game on Saturday night, what a great moment that was for, uh, while the outcome wasn't what we hoped it would be, I, I, I still don't believe the score was indicative of how competitive that game was and how well our, our team uh, and our fan base represented us. It was, it was a, just a terrific moment uh, and a really great step for Purdue football in lots of ways. So that uh, was a really, really, really good thing, and uh, as was this season, and we're really looking forward to capping it off uh, down in Florida at the Citrus Bowl. We're, we're so appreciative of that invitation. Uh, what it means again for our program and, and just that progression that we've been underway under uh, over these last six years well, under Jeff's leadership has been, has been tremendous and we look forward to continuing that. And to uh, not appear to be completely naive or brain dead up here, um, we recognize that the world is in motion around us. We all know that. Uh, that that's, that's not today's focus of, of, of conversation. Uh, there has been no anything from our side or anybody's side at this point in time with regard to any anything else. Uh, so our, our, our purpose today is to talk about our team, our upcoming bowl game, uh, and reflect on that. So just appreciate everybody uh, knowing that. And uh, again, we're, we're fully aware of, of what's happening elsewhere, but that's what's happening elsewhere, not, not what's happening here right now. So. Questions, please. Uh, please signal and Mike will be brought to you. And Jeff, just a chance to measure yourself against an SEC opponent for the third year in a row. Uh, what that means to you, and, and, and it's got it's got to intrigue you, I think. Well, it's another great challenge, and uh, we always look forward to playing high caliber opponents. Um, even though I thought we uh, competed well against Michigan, especially in the first half, as a head coach, you, you lose sleep over some things you could have done different in the second half, uh, and, I, and of course, I have ever since, uh, even though I did think we played hard and we had our chances. Uh, but now we got a chance to play another really, really high caliber, high talented, highly, highly talented team, which well coached. That's won some big football games, beat Alabama. Uh, so we're going to have to figure out a way to you know, play a solid 60 minutes of football. And uh, that's what's intriguing for myself and our team is, you know, can we step up to the plate and up to that challenge? Uh, because it'll present itself here in a month. What about going against Brian Kelly? You coached against him last year at Notre Dame, and just what he brings to the table uh, schematically and the challenges he presents. Well, I think Coach Kelly uh, has coached a lot of football. I have a lot of respect for him because he's a hard-nosed, uh, tough, football-minded coach that's been able to uh, you know, take LSU to a great season this year, even though they started off maybe not exactly they wanted, uh, but they've kind of taken on his personality. Uh, they play hard-nosed. Uh, Smash mouth football. They have an athletic quarterback, even though the other quarterback came in the game and did a good job. Uh, really strong defense. Uh, the defense coordinator has coached a lot of football in the NFL and college. And they have a lot of talent. So, uh, like I said, it'll be something that uh, will be a great measuring stick for our team. And um, just, I know, I know this is a crazy time with, with rosters and whatnot. Can you, is there any news on guys who may not play because of injury? Um, just of that nature, guys may opt out, or is that something you you address in the next week or two? Well, it's constantly going to change. Um, you know, I know yesterday I was on the road all day recruiting with our coaches, uh, making visits. Uh, got to do that right after this over as, as well uh, in Indianapolis uh, most of the day. Had to meet with a couple players this morning, uh, so there's a lot of things in motion right now, and. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we want to do what's best for all of our guys, uh, but I think we've got a good nucleus of guys that uh, understand what's important, um, feel good about the team that we've built. But you're always going to have people that uh, 
you know, want to make other decisions. So in the end, we're going to support them all, and we're going to uh, play with the, the young men that want to be here and be a part of it. And I know those guys will do a great job, but uh, you know, if someone thinks there's a better opportunity somewhere else uh, or wants to look into that, we'll, we'll support that as well. Can you just talk real briefly to maybe what you're looking for in the portal? Well, like every year, we'll evaluate the roster and uh, try to improve it. And, uh, you know, you, you always uh, look for big guys uh, that can play on both sides of the front, offense and defense. That's always just something you look at. And I just think uh, we analyze the needs we have on our team. And, um, you know, right now we're in the process of, 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 of doing that. Um, and we'll know more information, but I just think uh, there are certain things that stand out that uh, you know, I don't want to get into great detail yet because we still want to um, you know, talk to some of our guys on our team and see who's going to be back here or not. But uh, really every position, if we think it can help our team, will be, will be open. Further questions? Mike. Um, did you kind of get a sense that the Citrus Bowl was where you were going to land? And then can you kind of elaborate on the excitement of, you know, a, a chance to play in LSU? Sure. Thanks, Sam. Um, yeah, as time, as the last couple of weeks have unfolded, uh, they clearly became one of the primary options for us as we sort of projected out how the rest of the field might uh, might might go. Uh, you know, we still, I think, had an opportunity, not, I don't think, we had an opportunity had we won the game Saturday night to, to uh, play ourselves into Pasadena, which would have been, would have been another obviously a huge opportunity for us, but but the Citrus Bowl is a great destination. We're really excited about it. It's, it is the uh, you know it's one of the premier bowl games in the country. It's a great destination for our fans, for our team. They do a great job. Uh, we're going to play a great opponent, so it's uh, it's all good from every from every perspective. I think uh, it's, it's really just sort of a next a next step in the, in the progression and growth of our program. Uh, Jeff, obviously it's not your focus today, but can you just can you just address everything that's in motion around Purdue right now in terms of I know it was very hard for you to turn down below the last time. It's safe to say your name's gonna come up again. Can you just kind of tell us where your mind is right now with that? Well, to be quite honest with you, I, I know no more than you guys do. And I um, was in some meetings this morning and got some texts about Twitter. So I, I found out on Twitter what was going on in the college world. Other than that, uh, you know, I know no more information. Next questions for Coach or Mike. Mm -hmm. Jeff, obviously, you know, with that opening, there's going to be distractions, and you've done this before. How do you kind of balance, you know, blocking out the noise for you for your team while you're trying to also prepare for a, a big time game? Well, that's uh, college football every year at this time of the year, and. Uh, you know, our team's done a good job. You know, uh, I think we all know that uh, myself and our team, we want to win. We want to work hard. We want to prove people what we can't get done. Anytime we lose, we, we take it personal, and uh, we try to go about finding a way to get better. And, and like I said, uh, while I love the way we competed in the last game, uh, man, I wish we could have just done a little bit more in the second half to be more efficient. So how can we figure out ways to uh, you know get bit better at that? It's, it's going to be a big goal uh, these next couple of weeks. How big would it be, obviously, uh, like last season, the overtime win over Tennessee to cap the year with another victory? Well, it would be huge because, uh, you know, it felt good ending last season on a victory like that, basically finding a way, as we know now, to beat a really good Tennessee team, basically on their home turf uh, with some, some new guys stepping up and making plays. And, we had a great fan turnout. The game was sold out. I mean, yes, it was a great feeling. It made you go into the offseason at least smiling for a little bit and, and feeling good about what you accomplished. Um, and even though we accomplished quite a bit this year, you, you want to try to go out with a win. And, uh, you know, we're going to have our hands full. Uh, so there's a lot of things we got to do well in order to win. So we've got to really figure that out as coaches and, and work hard and just try to you know, play a more efficient game of football uh, against a really, really talented team. So you faced Auburn, you faced Tennessee in games like this. What can you, I guess, say about the level of athleticism you're probably going to see from LSU? Well, that's the challenge. Uh, they're going to have really elite athletes uh, at every position. Uh, they've always looked the part getting off the bus, and I'm sure they do uh, as well at this point. I do think they're going to be well coached. 
uh, Coach Kelly has a, the pedigree and background where he gets his guys ready to play, and I think they'll be up for this football game. So for us, um, like I said, it's a great measuring stick, um, and it can either uh, propel you to figure out a way to, to win the game, or it can teach you some lessons. Uh, you know, if you come out with the ending you don't want, uh, but it will be a real test, and we will have to, um, you know, really play very efficient football and. You know, I think as we learn playing those type of teams, man, all three segments got to be hidden, and our defense has to be solid throughout the game and figure out a way to get turnovers and prevent big plays. Our offense has to be precise, not turn it over, and uh, you know, execute key situations like the red zone uh, when we get a chance. And special teams has to get an advantage. So it's just uh, one of those games where to play high-level football, you, you got to you got to perform well. Uh, for Mike, this is the first time. Uh, Purdue's been to the Citrus Bowl. Do you expect a, a good response from your people for this one because it's the first time you've been there. You know, Purdue hasn't been to Orlando in, uh, I can't remember how long, but. Gosh, yeah, it's been, it's been, it's been a long time. I, I would, yes, I would, Brian. Uh, our fans have been spectacular these last couple of years. Actually, for several years now, they've been just really, really good. You know, they've showed up at uh, our last couple of ball games in huge numbers. I, I think the fact that we're in Florida, uh, at, a, at a really good time of the year during, during that holiday stretch, uh, we'll, we'll do nothing but, but be really attractive to them. So we expect that they'll be there. Uh, you know, last Saturday night, they did it down in Indy. Our, our, our students were, were great as they have been all year long. Hope we can get a bunch of them down, down to Orlando also, but uh, I, I fully expect we'll have a great Purdue turnout. Time for a couple more questions. <clears throat> Jeff, the, the uh, Citrus Bowl tweeted out the video of you from your XFL days. <laughs> last night, and I'm sure that you're going to hear that quite a bit, but uh, kind of take me back to just playing there and, and you know, memories you have of Camping World Stadium. Well, that's when life was a lot of fun and you had no worries, um, but uh, no, I really enjoyed it. You know, I, I kind of was able to hang on to the NFL for a while and last as a backup and have a lot of good memories there, learn a lot along the way. I uh, thought I was kind of done playing, uh, and they came out with the XFL and was able to get drafted by Orlando and be the quarterback there. And, uh, actually had a lot of fun. I mean, uh, it was one of those leagues that was new, it was fresh. Um, you know, we sold out our first football game, and uh, I remember they said they sold more alcohol by halftime than any event they've ever had in the Citrus Bowl, and, and looking at the crowd, I, I can believe it. Uh, and then, of course, the crowds went down a little bit, but for us, we, we normally drew, drew pretty well, but had a lot of fun playing. And uh, it wasn't great for a quarterback because everybody made the same amount of money. Um, but it was great for the team because uh, the best players played, didn't matter where you got drafted, what you were making. Uh, every every player got a little bit extra if you won. It was just kind of a good setup they had for guys that were either trying to make it to the NFL or just trying to hang on like myself and, and play the game that they love. But uh, had a lot of fun. Uh, you know, enjoyed living in that area and uh, you know, still can recall quite a few of those memories. And then last thing. Uh, how did, I know you've been busy this morning, but has Louisville tried to contact you at all or, or tried to reach out to you this morning? No, there's been no contact. Do you know what your practice plan is yet when your travel, your travel plan looks like, things like that? Well, it's busy uh, starting yesterday, even though the recruiting period picked up on Friday, but we were in a game uh, yesterday. Everyone has been out, and that will continue for the next two weeks. Um, last year, I believe we started uh, practice – this upcoming Friday, but we ended a week early, so I'm going to assume, um, you know, next Thursday or Friday, the following Thursday or Friday is when we would start up. Because I think our guys do need a break. Uh, they've been going hard for a long time, and uh, they got to concentrate on schoolwork a little bit, and make sure they get caught up with that, and excuse me, get their body fresh, and, and we want them fresh uh, so that when we start bowl prep, um, you know, they're excited and ready to go. Anything else for these guys? One more. Jeff, a lot of people in like the media and things like that talk about these bowl games. They don't have the same meaning behind them as maybe they used to. Um, what, what would you say to those people based off your experiences, especially at Purdue? Well, I think every game matters, and uh, we try to convey that to our players. But at the same time, I, we understand how this world works, and, and uh, you know, we want to be open to you know, whatever's best for everybody. But uh, you know, we want to try to win a football game, and uh, it's a big deal. It's another football game against a quality opponent. Uh, it's great for our fans. It's great for uh, our players that are coming back. It's great for our players that uh, maybe aren't coming back but want to finish with a bang and, and, and do something special. And 
uh, beat a great opponent, uh, you know, in the Citrus Bowl. And uh, so I, I think, uh, you know, we want everybody to play in the football game and give everything they got and, um, you know, try to play their best game to date. And that's always going to be our goal, and that'll be our goal for this game as well. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, guys.